So now we're going to look at the combined gas law. The combined gas law was derived from Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay Lussac's law. We combine them all together, we end up with the combined gas law. The combined gas law will also give us these three laws. So whenever we have two pressures or two volumes or two temperatures, we can think combined gas law and whatever is constant will drop out. So if temperature is constant, we end up with Boyle's law. If pressure is constant, we end up with Charles law. So combined gas law is a good law to know and to use whenever we see a pressure, volume, or temperature change. So we have two of those. We always have to use Kelvin for any temperatures in gas law. For the combined gas law, pressure just has to be matching units. It doesn't have to be any specific unit. And our volume just has to be matching units, no specific uh, unit. So let's look at a couple of problems. So we start off with 404 milliliters at 2.1 atmospheres and 57 degrees Celsius. And then the uh, pressure gets changed to 4.1 atmospheres and the volume to 560 mL. What temperature is this uh, gas now at? So we're looking for temperature. So we solve our equation for temperature. We're going to have to uh, convert our temperatures into Kelvin. So this 57 Celsius is really 230 Kelvin. So that's our initial temperature. We're doing the uh, final pressure, 4.1 atmospheres with the initial 2.1. And then the final volume, 560 milliliters, or the initial 404 milliliters. So this is uh, all set up. We run it through our calculator. And we end up with 893 Kelvin. As is common, we like to use Celsius. So we have to subtract 273 off of this. And we end up with 620 Celsius. So let's do a couple more of these. So now our gas starts off at 2.91 liters at one atmosphere and 20 degrees Celsius. We're reducing the temperature to a minus 196 Celsius and raising the pressure to 520 atmospheres. So what's our new volume? So we're looking for volume. So of course we need to convert our temperatures. So our 20 degrees is 293 Kelvin, the minus um, 196 is 77 Kelvin. So we can predict before we start, or we can check before we start if we think our volume is going to increase or decrease. We're increasing our pressure, that will decrease our volume. We're 
decrease in temperature, that would decrease our volume. So we know our engine will have a smaller volume than what we are starting off at. We um, plug in our numbers. So we have our 2.91 liters, our initial pressure, one atmosphere, over our final pressure, 5.2 atmospheres. Our final temperature, 77 Kelvin, over the initial 293 Kelvin. This is all set up, so we run it through our calculator. We end up with a 0.147 liters. And um, if we needed it in milliliters, it's 147 milliliters. So these are both correct answers. So let's do one more of these. Now the gas starts off at, um, occupies 480 milliliters at 1.2 atmospheres and 10 degrees. If we increase the volume to 570, increase the temperature to five to 120 Celsius, what's our new pressure? So we're looking for pressure. We need to convert our temperatures. So 10 degrees Celsius is 283 Kelvin. 120 degrees Celsius is 393 Kelvin. We put in our values here. We have a 1.2 atmospheres. The initial volume 480. Our final volume, 570. Our final temperature, 393. And our initial temperature, 283. And in this case, if we look at the effects, see if we predict our increasing volume would reduce pressure, but our increasing temperature would increase pressure. So we can't predict offhand what direction pressure is going to go. And these are shown up in our ratios. So our ratio of volumes here, we're increasing our volume. So we end up with a ratio of less than one. That would reduce our pressure. We're increasing our temperature. That gives us a ratio greater than one. We're increasing our pressure. So we have this set up, we run this through our calculator, we end up with a 1.4 atmosphere. So it does increase in this case. 